guys, how's it going? True here. And we just got done taking care of all the Night Walker skin guys that were basically holding the black guys hostage. Um, I don't know how I feel about all this still. Oh my goodness, hiccups. I'm going to go back to our service rifle. The ray of fire on it is really nice. But we're going to head back upstairs. We're going to try to find this stairway again, and we're going to try to tell Mr. Blight, Jason Blight, that all the people, guys that were killing his people are dead now. We'll see what happens. I mean, hmm. I really don't trust what's going on here. There's more to it than what I know, but the only way I want to get answers, there's no real easy way for me to get answers, sadly, other than going along, for it, going along with it for now. The one guy, Davidson guy, he seemed a little crazy. He said, the antler says you're killing my kin. Antler says you must die. He had a bull's head with antlers on it. I don't know if that's what he meant, but who knows. Hello. They're being nice to me now. They're saying hello. Hmm. Is the way clear? The demons are gone. Praise the Creator, and bless you, Wanderer. The way is clear. I will lead my flock through the basement to the sacred site. I hope you will come find us there, Wanderer. There is much to be done. I'm following him. I gotta find out what's going on. I do not trust it. Oh shit. We're in spacesuits. Okay. I know I'm detected. I'm not really being sneaky. Man, you guys are running fast. I gotta keep up. I'm pretty sure the promised land he was talking about is that warhead where the radiation's leaking everywhere. I'm like 90% certain that's where he's going. No, I can't say 90%. I'm just pretty fucking certain that's where he's going. Hmm. Oh. Harlan, come here. Come and get it, you big dumb. Hey, you're not one of those oh. things out there. Who the hell are you? I'm sworn that's all. What about you? Maybe you noticed a bunch of invisible monsters out there. I've been in here, trying not to get dead. Can okay, you tell me about the creatures out there? I kill them on sight, so we haven't had much time to get acquainted. They're hard to see. Obviously, but they are too smart when it comes to tactics. We're not stepping in traps. How did you end up trapped down here? First off, I'm not trapped. This was a tactical choice, all right? I'm no match for those things out there. So I found a good defensive position, and I've been defending it, right? Oh, who am I fooling? I'm trapped. Name's Harland. Pleased to meet you. What happened was... I was escorting folks down to work when those things attacked us. Most of the fight was upstairs, but some folks panicked and made for the basement, and I went after them. Well, turns out there were even more of those bastards down here than upstairs, and things went to shit fast. I couldn't find the others, so I fell back to this room and set up a nice little kill zone. End of story. You don't look like the other girls from Bright Screw. Guess the outfit gives that away, huh? I never did buy into that religious mumbo jumbo with the robes and all that shit. It gets lonely out in the wastes, okay? And I don't have to tell you that Bright's group has got some fine looking goulettes in it. Uh, or maybe I would have to tell you. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I helped them out, and they kept me supplied with ammo and pleasant company. What? How's that one of my choices? How have you survived? 
I'm not delicate. Rad roach meat for protein. Condensation off the pipes for water. And I do my business over in the far corner. I wouldn't say it's been comfy. How can I help you get out of this room? Huh. Well, you're polite. I'll give you that. If this was just between you and me, I'd do as you ask. But it's not. I had a friend with me when those mutant bastards came out of nowheres. She panicked and ran the wrong direction. Further into the basement. She's probably dead. But I ain't leaving until I know for sure. I'd have gone looking myself. Except I wouldn't last a minute out there. You, on the other hand, seem pretty resourceful. Find my friend, and I'll get out of your way. I did find her, unfortunately. Okay. I see. Spare me the details. God damn. She had the yellow I guess I smile. found her. You did your part, so I'll do mine. Go ahead and root around up here if you want. I'm going to make a break for topside. Um, okay. I don't get what just happened, but okay. Whoa, shit. Alright, I need to activate Cat's Eye because he has traps here. Uh, okay, I still see traps. Alright. Yeah, he's definitely eating cockroaches. <laughs> All empty. Rope go. Shipment mistake. Workplace misbehavior. Shipment sent back. Um. So, first off, let me say that everyone here isn't really excited about the merger. It's a supply chain. You as well, it sounds well. What would broke with him? We know it's true. We came here. Okay. Workplace misbehavior. Oh. Uh, shipment sent back. He's going to manifest. The message says resolve employment misbehavior. Not mine. One crate was open and it's missing five. How do I exit? Oops! Oh, this is not gonna let me cross that so easily. There we go. Huh. Things still are not adding up, to be perfectly honest. Hmm. A lot of things are not adding up. I really don't like it. What's that? Oh. You got one of these fuckers. Do nothing. Hmm. Alright. I mean, I guess I found and did that. I don't know why I would have to kill him, but it's, let's get back to our original mission that I had and go find these guys to see what the hell they are worshipping or what they are doing. It's just not adding up yet. Why am I thinking they're going to attack the city? It's honestly what I'm thinking. I think I need, I think I need to kill them all. First time I take my radiation. I don't want to end up looking like them. Alright, I got full radiation. I'll keep going until I find them. So I'm pretty sure. Oh, cat eyes worn off. Cat eyes is a lot more useful than I thought it would be, that's for sure. Excuse me, robot. Okay. Most likely in here. I think. 
Robot, I know you're in a hurry. I waited to speak with you one last time before I descended to the launch pad, Wanderer. I want you to know that we will remember for all eternity how you delivered us to the threshold of the Great Journey. Our preparations are nearly complete, but the rockets that will carry us to salvation are yet missing vital components. If you would still help us, Wanderer, speak to Chris. He can tell you what is missing. There is no way that we can thank you enough, Wanderer. Your arrival here was a blessing. We will remember you always. Are you seriously going to make your great journey on these rockets? Yes. The rockets will convey us to our promised land in the far beyond. Vision upon vision has confirmed it. These rockets, yeah, straight into the ground. I understand your concerns, friend, and I thank you for voicing them. But the Creator's will for us has been made manifest. Let's talk about Chris. After all that you have done for us, I suppose you deserve to know everything. Thank you. When Chris came to us, we tried to convince him that he was human. But this only angered him. He seemed lost. We decided to let him stay with us for a few days, over the course of which we learned that his technical skills far surpassed our own. It became clear that the Creator had sent him to us to ensure the success of the great journey. Equally clear was that Chris should labor in blessed ignorance of his humanity and his inability to make the journey himself. It is no coincidence that two humans have been vital to the success of the great journey. It is my belief that the Creator sent you and Chris to expiate the sins of your kind against mine. You are redeemers both. So you're going to leave Chris behind? Such is the Creator's will. Vision upon vision has shown me that were Chris to accompany us, he would die in minutes. The radiation around the launch pad alone would kill Chris in minutes. The radioactivity of the far beyond is much stronger. Hmm. You've been using Chris, it's despicable. It is the Creator's will, and I must submit. There is no malice in it. We would take him with us if we could. Goodbye, Jason. There is no way that we can thank you enough, Wanderer. Your arrival here was a blessing. We will remember you always. Hmm. Chris? Jason says that I am to cooperate with you on the final tasks necessary to launch the Great Journey. So the Great Journey will use these rockets. Obviously. It's taken months, but I've nearly got them in working order. Soon they'll take us to the far beyond. I was skeptical at first, of course, being a man of science. But Jason is certain, and I believe in Jason. What do you do here? I'm the Flock's resident engineer. I've always been good with machines. Jason says the Great Journey would have been impossible without me. Of course, my skills aren't much use unless I have the right materials. That's where you come in. I noted that you worked down on Launchpad. When I joined the flock, Jason made it clear that he wanted me to supervise the repairs, not do them myself. It would be a waste of my gifts to work on just one system at a time. From up here, I've been able to supervise mm. the entire project. The radiation down there would kill you, Chris, because you're human. I thought we were past all that smooth skin, but you just can't resist the chance to mess with me. Typical human. I was human once, you know. Grew up in Vault 34, northeast of here. Nice upbringing if you like assault rifles and target practice. But oh, you prefer machines that don't shoot people? Not so nice then. Who should maintain the Vault's reactor? Hauser? Mitchell, no. Make it Haversum. He likes machines. Haversum won't mind getting irradiated. Haversum won't mind mutating. He's already ugly as it is. Haversum won't mind when his hair starts falling out after a few years. There's no connection, Haversum. You're neurotic. Okay. You have to vault because you're going bald. Bald? You call this bald, smooth skin? 
I'm a monster. A monster! That won't work. Uh, how can I help? I was close to completing work on the rockets before we were driven into hiding on the top floor. Two components were missing. A quantity of isotope 239 igniting agent and a set of thrust control modules. The igniting agent is highly radioactive and decays quickly. That's why we can't use the drums that leak down uh -huh. on the launch pad. It's no longer potent enough. I need you to find an intact, shielded container of the igniting agent. As for the thrust control modules, they were custom built for these rockets. They won't even launch without them. Um. Okay. Very well. We don't need a huge amount. Two to three liters should be enough. Can you give me a tip for the current task? Repcon has been ransacked so many times by scavengers, it's hard to know where the components might turn up. If they turn up. Jason has mentioned some industrial ruins to the east that are supposed to be highly radioactive. Okay. Bye. Man, I could kill him right here and stop them. Oh, man. Ah, oh, this is such a hard decision, guys. He's obviously messed up in the head, right? He was tormented, cheese growing up, and now he thinks he's radioactive. But she isn't. So that's the thing. I mean, sent to the east. Hold on. No way. To the east would be... Novak. What is going on? So he doesn't want Chris running over there. Hmm. That's that's stuff set. That would be something if I could get over there, but I don't know how to get over there. Or it could be a path that leads right to it. No, I just didn't care to look for. Hmm. Or it's going to be a jumping game. So let me jump up there, so I might not be able to get up there like I thought. Still, this is getting to be very interesting and yeah, I burned through a lot of ammo I got that's always disappointing alright so what we'll do now is this we'll come down oh never mind there is a radioactive area over here to the east Items aid. No more stats. Raid. Okay. Hey, robot. Oh, shit. That went well. Oh, go to get go hide. Yep, I'll take it. So, I guess we're going in here and look for radiation stuff. Yep, I'm already getting radiated. Oh, you're a big one. You are a doozy. How am I doing on radiation? 41 already?
this there is a marker, tell me where I need to go. I'll also follow it. Something tells me it's not gonna give me good. Read. Quest, come to come fly with me. Man, okay. Biomag fuel for the rockets. Man, okay. So it's like I just gotta search. I know you're here. Where are you at? You gained the bug stumper perk. Okay. Cool. I think that's a good thing. Alright, so. So upstairs would be a fitting area for it. Anything? No. Anything? No. I guess that wouldn't be a fitting spot for it. How am I doing, stat? My radiation. <sighs> Not gonna let me jump up there. It's gotta be around here somewhere. I'll start metal, I'll take it. Oh, box. Start metal, I'll take it. Man, hey robot. Don't scare me like that, right? Where is this thing? I've got to just be missing it. More scrap metal. Could be the area that has the two radiations a second be near it. Hmm. There's a box. Camera strap metal. Man. Being a little harder while I was hoping it'd be. Something or something up here, but no such luck, huh? Hmm. I just gotta be missing it. It's, it's probably somewhere out in the open. I just can't see it. Hey, robot. Let's search near these canisters. Visit a doctor. You, you now have radiation poisoning. Okay, so two two hundred. Okay, but I have radiation poisoning. Shit. Okay. I know I've searched these things before. The 
the store I originally came through. Oh. Hmm. Robot, stop showing up out of nowhere and going straight where I'm hitting you at. Huh. This is interesting, guys. Let's look at the local map. Ah, it says it's right here. Let's go to the world map. Or I quick travel. Yeah. Let's go to the local map again. Oh. Seriously? Seriously. <laughs> oh, wow. All right. Love the suit. Can scavenge anywhere now? Screw the rat. I hear by Chris myself, Mr. Radical. Get it? Suit passed first test of time callers. And I didn't feel a tickle. Go, rat to go. Vomited all morning. Then splash on or I'd be pissed. So I exciting. Ran across the old woman's scrapyard. Just leave Bought glowing container for me easily fitting glowing cups. Had a quick field to prove a suit at higher red levels of hold up. I went and popped this jar of goop open and pour over me. I bet I could swim in this stuff. Oh, yeah, I've had enough of it. Oh, yeah. Okay, so um, I found the thing and it ends up it just some crazy guy. So we gotta go Novak. We have to go visit the doctor because we, I let my radiation get way too high. So I need to go get healed up. Is that you, doctor? No, doctor's over here. Come heal me. I got radiation poisoning. <laughs> I was playing in the radiation. That makes me mad. I searched that whole area. And it was right there. Oh man. All right. No matter. Hey. What can I do for you? That might be. Can you hear my radiation? Are you sure? You won't be able to read in the dark as well. Oh. Okay. And remember, if this doesn't help, try taking a bath in tomato juice. Um. I won't be able to read in the dark as much. As well? I guess I. What? Oh, if I was glowing, I'd be able to read in the dark. I see what you meant there. <laughs> oh, you're so sly. Uh, you crazy lady. I don't think she's certified either now. Hey, look. This thing. Shortcut. Alright, so. We found it. Surprisingly easily. No. That's so annoying. The quest marker showed me exactly where it was at. I just... Stupid. Have you found the components we discussed? Found an entire container of igniting agent. Yes, that's the stuff. And the container shielding must be intact or you'd be dead by now. Mm. Now all I need is the thrust control modules. Uh, I guess... Scavengers wouldn't know the value of the modules just by looking at them. If you know any junk dealers in the area, I'd start there. Okay, time for me to go. Alright, so... Junk dealers. Okay. Sounds easy to know. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if I ran and picked them up. I'm, I like collecting junk too. Let's see where it says I should go. Up there, okay. So, travel to Novak, and then we'll go north. I think. Very the end, we'll have a small number. Okay. Yep, we're going north. I guess there's a junk dealer up here. I didn't know about it, but I know now. Maybe you might have some ammo I can get. I like ammo. I like ammo a lot. You look pretty crazy, old guy. Careful. They got spies all over. Oh. Okay. Thanks. I guess that's the junk dealer's house. It'd be nice if you had some ammo. I could use more. I'm running really low. Let's check. Uh, items, ammo. 
We're doing five or six. So you have run low. A lot lower than I like to be at. I don't want to start using my hollow point armor first because that's what I need to. Yeah, I guess the hollow point will be useful against the one big guys. Uh, oh dear. Dogs. Dog, why are you flying? Oh dear God. Hey, old lady Gibson. Hi there. I'm old lady Gibson, or so they tell me. I've got odds and ends for sale, and I'm pretty good at fixing things, too. You might have noticed the very large building just north of here. That's Helios 1. Huh. The NCR runs the place, so it's off limits to prospectors. Uh, do you have any... Yeah. As it so happens, I do have some thrust modules, but they're expensive. 500 caps worth of expensive. Uh. Uh, I can't really do any... I've... Okay. Pleasure doing business with you. I don't like you, but... Subject E, diagnosis complete. Oh. Begin recording. My name is Whitley. I'm a researcher at Adams Air Force Base. Until recently, I was in charge of the Duraframe reinforcement project for the combat model iBots. Robot, you're talking to me. iBot Duraframe Subject E is both the prototype and the last functional model in this test group. I was prepared to make several significant upgrades to the machines. However, as the project was cancelled and all Duraframe assets are being diverted to Hellfire Armor, I am sending this model to the Navarro outpost. Continue. If you're listening to this log from one of our Enclave outposts in Chicago, give this unit whatever repairs it needs so it can continue to Navarro. Oh. Okay. So, you're back. Now, where did we leave off? Uh. So we have ourselves. Happy to do it. Oh. Yeah, that ain't cool. Oh, laser rifle beam splitter. Oh, that seems cool. Hmm. That's just really cool. Okay. No, I didn't sell. For, I should. Uh, um, I probably have a bunch of stuff to sell. I just gotta be smart enough to think about it. Um, uh, flame or fuel? Mm-hmm. I don't use the incinerator, but I can't even sell it because it's so broken. Okay. Well, let's go accept that for now. Exit. Pleasure doing business with you. What do you know about Helios Swan? The way I heard it, the Brotherhood of Steel ran the place before the NCR took it away from them. I'm not sure who started shooting first. But when it was over, the Brotherhood, with all their fancy armor and weapons, was on the run. Nobody's heard from them since. Oh, wow. Goodbye. Take care now. Hey, robot, do you have something in your inventory? You do. Anything I can sell? You do. Um, don't need that many plasma rifles, so... Yeah, I know I'm So, recovered. you're back. Now, where did we leave off? I got something to sell you. Um, I need something repaired. Sure thing. Let me have a look. Uh, we'll do this. Exit. So we have ourselves. Happy to do it. So I'm gonna keep one of the laser rifles. I should have other ones to sell though. Plasma rifles. And uh, Reaper Clubs, there we go. Except, thank you. Give me a shout if you need any. Take care now. Okay. Your dogs are so fucking creepy. 
Alright, so I got me a laser rifle. Damage 14. DPS. Yeah, okay. Can I mod it? No, I cannot. Is it? It's mostly good stats. Okay. I got a ton of ammo for it too, which is why I'm basically. Hmm. Okay. I wish you had some 5.56 ammo for me, but I'm not going to demand that you give me 5.56 ammo. Alright, so, we got our, um, we got the little damage, uh, not damage, but the control pad. Easy enough, actually. So, really easily enough. So let's go on back down here and see what happens next, guys. We'll see how Chris takes the game left behind, and I gotta hope that it lock don't go somewhere dangerous. Perfect world, it blows up without getting out of the actual thing. I just get a chance to get away from it first. But, you know what we'll do? I'm gonna be smart, I'm gonna save it first. In case this ends badly, I might be a little cheat and redo it. Well, actually, no, I probably won't. Hey. Hey. Have you found the components we discussed? Yes, I did. Indeed you did. And they seem to be in excellent condition. The rocks are set to go, right? Yes. I'll tell Jason that the great journey can begin. We have everything we need to launch the rockets, Jason. The great journey can begin. Am I in a viewing platform? Where's the viewing platform at? Gather all. May the Creator guide my words and help me speak true. The Almighty Creator has seen fit to answer our prayers. The time has come for us to board the rockets and begin the great journey. Though it may seem that all humans despise us, the Creator has seen fit to instruct us differently. The journey ahead would have been impossible if not for the intercession of two human friends. One you, the other a long-abiding companion. To our new friend, we say thanks, and promise never to forget how he cleared from our path the demons who sought to stay our journey. But to Chris, we owe more than thanks. Chris, you have made this great journey a reality. From this moment forward, you will be remembered as the saint of the great journey. We shall never forget you. I ask that you forgive us, Chris, and give us your blessing, and we bestow ours upon you. Seekers, board the rockets. Take your seats. The great journey awaits. To the promised land we go. To the far beyond. Hey. Hey. Did you hear him? My god, you were right all along. I'm no ghoul. They were just using me. Yeah. Mm. They'd take you if they could, Chris, but you die. And dying would be worse than this? Used up and thrown away like garbage? I'm gonna review you as St. Chris. Oh, so I've redeemed the human race, is that it? What a crock. The human race can't stand I'm me. I'm talking to you. Eh, you're alright. So, you want me to accompany you on your adventures across the wasteland? I didn't that say is... that! There's a little town called Novik down the road. Life among humans again? That's what you're suggesting? I guess... I guess it's the only chance I've got. Maybe it'll be different this time. Maybe. I was never a saint before. I can't believe I'm agreeing to this, but I'll give it a try. You go launch the rockets. I'm on my way to Novak. How do I launch the rockets? Okay. I'll just follow this arrow. Is it in here? No? Um, let's look at the map. Where's the rocket place? All the way up here? Oh dear. Huh. 
<sighs> we gotta go make our way all the way over here to shoot the rockets. Oh dear. Well, it's probably for the best. <laughs> I don't think I want to be right at the area it's shooting rockets at, now that I think about it. I mean, that is a little silly of me. The one to hang out there. But, we sent Chris to Novak. See what happens there. Um, this should mean that we successfully cleaned out this area. Sorry, Davison. I hope you... Is that where I'm supposed to go? Oh, I'm not there. I'm not even there yet. And we found something else about a robot. That's always good. A robot was created by something. Well. Now, I feel really stupid for a sentence. I just said. <laughs> of course the robot was created from something. Some guy. Oh. Oh, dear robot. You're always scaring me like that. I guess it's up here that I need to launch the rockets from. <sighs> Going up. <laughs> I won't lie, I might just laugh a little bit if the rockets exploded the fucking launching area. I mean, they would be happy. They went to their great beyond like they wanted. Yeah, I shot. That thing looks suspicious. Uh, is this it? See what happens. Launch music signal found. Oh dear. <laughs> oh god. Please don't fly towards Novak. News that good work has been passed. This is your good work has been passed around to people like you. Um. Oh, I leveled. Cool. I need more speech. Oh my god. I didn't think I did, but I guess I do. I mean, thanks for costing me 50 speech for me to do stuff. I'll put all of it in speech. Fuck it. Uh, done. So, I guess we're good people in Novak now for flying. We did get rid of the freaking ghouls. We basically launched them into outer space. I mean, I guess that's good. I mean, I jumped down. I guess the end result's what the people in Novak wanted. I mean, the ghouls are gone. And those piles of ashes always creep me out. Oh, God. Well, most of the ghouls should be gone now. I killed any that were just wandering around. But the Blight followers didn't seem hostile, though. What's this? That's a door. And it's a bathroom. We don't want to be in there, robot. It smells bad. Man, those things are ugly. Oh, yeah, we explored this. Alright, let's go see Novak, I guess. World map. Novak. I'm liked. Yay! I think we'll continue what happens next on the next episode, though, guys. Sorry for being a tease. But we're in Novak now. And stuff happened. Um. Yeah. Still got luck to do, though. So we're going to save game. Ooh, protector. I like that. I'm a hero. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time. Bye-bye.